Well, it's that time of the season again where shows start ending. And given that we're at that point, it's time to talk about what was actually worth watching and what was uh, a waste of time or not exactly up to scratch with what it could have been. You know where we are. We're on live chat. Link in the description below. So, let's discuss what was actually worth watching from the summer 2021 anime season. It might be a touch early with only two or three shows having actually come to an end, but with pretty much everything else ending in the next few weeks at least, it's about time to wrap this season up. Though next season doesn't actually start till the beginning of October, we still have a few shows running in that gap between the last episode airing of this season and next season starting. But that's by the by. Let's start off with something that is most certainly worth your time, at least if you've watched any of Tensura, is Season 2 Part 2. Obviously this shit's good. Like, come on. Obviously it's good. It's fantastic. The season finale airs um, this coming week. Uh, it'll, depending on when I upload this, it either will have aired or it'll be airing tomorrow, depending on which day I upload this on. But yes, this show is absolutely fantastic. But you know that. If you haven't watched Slime, I seriously, seriously recommend you go watch it. It's fantastic. And if you haven't, well, and if you have, well, then you're almost certainly watching this or waiting for it to finish before you start watching it. Seriously, give the show a watch. Just any of it. Start season one if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, seriously, Slime live far exceeded expectations. And I'm really looking forward to the last episode for when it comes out. I've, I I you know, have made it very clear that I'm not a My Hero fan. Uh, Tokyo Avengers. Well, another absolutely fantastic show. Uh, continued from last season into this one. I've already talked about it briefly back then, but it is just a really good show. It's really solid, and I will be picking up the manga as soon as the anime finishes. Uh, as you can see from when I'm recording this, the last episode airs tomorrow, and will have aired by the time you're seeing this. So yes. And given what I know about the manga, I know where this last episode is going, and I'm very, very excited to see that this Saturday. If you haven't watched Joker Avengers, it is definitely worth your time if you're waiting for it to finish before checking it out. Next up, Tsukimichi. Another isekai very similar to Slime. In fact, I've seen it compared to it quite often and also seen a few comments here and there of saying that it rips off Slime. And I can understand where these points come from. They are very similar and that is undeniable. And there is clearly some overlap between them in plot points. And that may simply just do to be <clears throat> be due to the fact that Slime was a web manga and Tsukimichi was a novel, publishing way slower than Slime was, so the author had the um, opportunity to read the Slime web novel when it was coming out and perhaps tweak some of those ideas in his work. I'm not saying he actually did that, or she, I don't know whether they're male or female, but it's p possible that they could perhaps have done that. Anyway, Tsukimichi is definitely worth your time. Like Slime, it's just an isekai that hits different. There's actually three isekai that hit different airing this season. And they are all worth your time. I do recommend you give Tsukimichi a watch. The opening, uh, Gamble by Pseudo, is an absolute banger. And if that's not enough reason to watch it, then I don't know what is. Speaking of isekai that hit different, this isn't one of them. Uh, Sarah Gensoki very quickly devolved into Kirito Simulator number 56. Um, but that's to no one's surprise. I mean, look at the main fucking character. Here he has his hair dyed because of the magic hair colour changing ear pin. Not ear pin, piercing. That isn't really a piercing. Um, yeah, that... Was it... Is it worth your time? Is it actually worth watching? If you like really generic power fantasy isekai, yeah, 100%, because that's exactly what it is. It does that. No questions asked. So if you like that shit, yeah, of course this will be worth watching. But if you don't, nah, because it ain't your thing. But if you're mama, or uh, I shouldn't speak in Japanese. Um, if you're um, so-so on Tsukimichi, not Tsukimichi, on Parfum Isekais, then maybe give this one a miss, because it is just pretty generic. Though it does play slightly differently on the Isekai trope of having the person awaken to their memories later on and not immediately realise they're a reincarnation, but hey. It's mediocre at best, in my opinion. Next, another isekai that does indeed hit different. Genjutsu Fugi. 
Um, again, like Sukimichi and Slime, <coughs> my apologies, I'm a little bit ill right now. Um, as I was saying, like Genjutsu and Slime, it, it's an easy guy that hits different. They are both, uh, both, all three of them are kind of economic y and world building based, more so than Power Fantasy uh, harem garbage like this, although this has, as I predicted, devolved into a harem, albeit it's been much better than I thought it would be. Uh, <coughs> Again, sorry about that. Uh, I'm ill. There's not much I can do about that. But yes, uh, Genji Sushugi is worth watching, in my opinion. If you like slime, if you like, if you've watched and liked Sukimichi but didn't get a chance to check out Genji Sushugi, I do recommend you give it a quick watch when some time comes available for you because it has some things that it offers that other isekai simply do not. So give it a check out. For Metsu Anata A, I will at some point watch, I mean, especially with the announcement of a season 2, I will watch it at some point just to catch up so I can enjoy the second season, but I've already talked about it in the past, so I will not touch on it too much here, but yes, uh, I thought it was okay. Not bad, decent, but I probably just didn't give it enough time. Irumakun has um, finished, as you can see. Well, not as you can see, you can't actually see that, but uh, the second season is finished. I haven't gotten around to actually catching up with it yet, but I will do um, when I get a bit more time on my hands as I'm moving to diversity in the comic. Literally tomorrow, as I'm recording this, um, I haven't had time to watch as much anime recently as I would have liked to, so I've had to put some shows on the back burner and catch up with them when I have a bit more time. Irumakun is one of those, but I most certainly enjoyed what I watched and <coughs> can't wait to check out the rest of the second season. I haven't watched any of Kobayashi's. I'm apologizing for nothing. Bokutachi no Remake. This is probably my favorite show of the season. I do genuinely really, really like this show, and I think it is 100% worth your time. If uh, Real Life or that type or what Real Life sets out to do, or the theme of Real Life you like, you will absolutely love this because it's that, but time travel. Uh, if that puts you off, trust me, this is seriously worth your time. It is not just another generic time travel show. Seriously, the, what this show has done and what the light novel has been doing, seriously amazing stuff. And I am genuinely super serious about checking it out when the anime finishes. Highly, highly recommend this. Most certainly my favorite show of the season. Tante wa mo shinderu. This show fell off for me real hard. It started out really good. I really liked the initial bit, and I actually didn't dislike the first case post uh, Natsunagi being introduced. But then when it went to the flashback of Siesta and how she ended up dying, I just found that whole bit really fucking boring. And then it just went off on one with a character that is introduced. I'm not going to spoil it in case you want to watch it, but it goes fucking weird. Uh, yeah. I just... For me, it missed. And that's really all I have to say about it. It's not terrible. It's not bad. But for me, it was it was a miss. KMK. Look. Everybody watches this for one reason. Because it's trashy. If that's what you're into, well, then you're going to be watching this. I needn't say any more on KMK. Peach Boy Riverside. Another show that kind of just ended up becoming mediocre. And I feel part of that may be due to the fact that its episodes were aired non-chronologically. And the season finale didn't really feel like a season finale. But maybe that's just me. I didn't dislike it. Like some people, I heard a lot of people were like very unhappy with how they were airing the episodes out of order. I personally didn't mind it, but it definitely made the ending fall flat. And some of the cliffhangers were really awkward because it'd be a cliffhanger. And then bam, you know, like three days in the past and then you'll not get a resolution to that cliffhanger you're on for like four more episodes um yeah it's not bad but it could have been executed better i think yeah fantastic car absolutely fucking brilliant stuff this is really good like written by the same guy that uh same person i i think it's actually a female i should have double checked that but written by the same person that wrote pandora hearts 
It's really good. Vantas is really, really good. So, yeah, check it out. It is fantastic. Visually, it's stunning. The characters and the dialogue is beautiful. <coughs> Where the plot's going is also really interesting. I highly recommend you give this a watch. And as you can see, the last episode of this airs for me in four and a half hours. I am very, very excited. I'm standing on A Million Lives Season 2. Much like the first one, jank as fuck. Um, where Yotsia is made to look smart because everyone else around him is a fucking retard. Am I going to get cancelled for that? Um, no, because I don't care. Um, yeah, this show... <coughs> I seriously apologise for the fact I keep coughing. Um, this show is just mid as fuck. As 11 comes out in five hours... Yes, I'll watch it. Yes, I'll watch episode 12. But it's mid. If you watch the first season, yes, you'll go ahead. If you like the first season, you'll like this because it's more or the same. But it's still pretty mediocre nonetheless. Make You Black Company, I think, is somewhat of a hidden gem. I've not seen much talk about it, but I do really like it. I think it's really charming. And it's another isekai. And it does somewhat hit different. I really like this show. I think the charm and flair that it has and provides... And the um, take on the East Coast genre that it has is really interesting, really fun, all in all. So I do genuinely recommend you give Make You Black Company a watch, because it's just lots of fun. It is really fun. Yes, it's a very um, unsubtle social commentary on, Jap on Japanese work culture and black companies, to be specific. Hell, the title's named after them. But it is seriously good. I do actually think you should watch this. I think it's better than perhaps it's being given credit for. It's just death game with superpowers. It's nothing special. It's very Darwin's gamey, as I've mentioned multiple times in the past when I used to do those episode reviews. I say used to as if it was a long time ago. It wasn't. But Deate is eight. It's pretty mediocre, but it isn't like atrocious. There are some bits that are god-awful, like some of that animation. Oh boy, and those 3D models. <sighs> that was a really bad whistle. Uh, yeah, yikes. But, I can't say I hate it, because I've actually really enjoyed watching it. But do I think it's good? Not really. Is it worth your time? Up to you. Do you like Death Battle? <coughs> Battle Royale anime? If yes, sure. If no, give it a miss. Jahi Sama, with the few episodes that I've actually watched, I've really enjoyed it. I just think it's pretty good. It's wholesome. It's charming. Worth your time? Yeah, it probably will be by the time it finishes. Yeah. That's all we got to say. Jahi's, you know, fulfills the lolly and the milf. She can, you know, best of both worlds, depending on what you're into. For me, uh, I'm not into children, so... That should give you my answer. Uh, Megami Robo no Robo Kun. God, I butchered that pronunciation. I admit... It's like really, really mid, but like, what did you expect from an etchy harem? Like, what? Did anyone expect this to be any good? No. No one did. And was it? No. And, uh, okay, yeah, we got Fanna to talk about. And, uh, this, the, for me, this was, I dropped this after episode one. So, in my opinion, this is not worth your time. But if you like those Moe Blobby shows, go right ahead. <sighs> Uh, Fana or Kaizo Gorgio. Uh, I need to catch up, but with the episodes I have watched, I've enjoyed it, but I do need to catch up, so I can't really give a fair judgment. And also, because it will be continuing a little bit beyond the end of the season, I may end up wrapping up my thoughts on it at the start of next season, but we'll see. Um, now, is there anything else I particularly want to talk about? Oh boy, <coughs> what a train wreck this was. Yikes. But yeah, I believe that is everything I want to talk about. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, Scarlet Nexus, the anime is mid. You just get the game and play it yourself. The gameplay is fun as fuck. Uh, this I do want to check out in, when it finishes. So it's, I don't know if it's good though, so I can't say whether it's worth your time or not. And yeah, beyond that, that's summer 2021. Were the anime this season worth your time? Overall, I'd say, yeah, they were. So, don't discredit the season. Well, it's definitely not been the strongest this year. With that winter we had, oh boy. 
And I think next season is also going to be incredibly, incredibly strong. What with part six starting in December. Well, technically, would that fall under next year's first season? Not sure. But yes, this season, while not the best of the year, is most certainly not a complete waste of time. And with all that out of the way, if you like this video, like, comment, sub, hit the notification bell, do whatever the fuck you feel like, you know the deal with the usual YouTube shilling business. Anyway, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I'll catch you all next time for another video where I will probably still be ill. But anyway, ta-ta for now.